it's your girl Buya, and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, your girl will be doing this floral Coachella inspired makeup look. The products that I used are very affordable and they are all locally available here in the Philippines. Before we head on to the tutorial, my booze and I launched this Facebook group called The Internet Buddies where you can post your memes, share your beauty tips, and make friends, especially at this time. So if you want to be a part of this group, just click the link down in the description box below. Also, if you have any makeup questions for me, you can always message me on my Instagram account. It's at Makeup by Buya. My DM is open 24-7 for any beauty questions that you have for me. So I already prepped my face for this look and since we're going creative today, I am listening to my music. By the way, my booze and I also made a playlist called The Quarantine Pop and if you want to listen to it or contribute your songs, you may do so as well by clicking the Spotify link down in the description box below. Anyway, for my foundation, I'm using the BB Foundation Stick from EB Advance. So this is in the shade Oriental. This is my current go-to foundation right now as it suits my dry skin very well. And I'm blending this out with my trusted NYX multi-use buffing brush. This is the same buffing brush that Jackie Aina uses on her channel. And now to contour my face, I am using Caroline's Contour Stick. It has the right amount of warm tones in it. It has the right amount of cool tones in it. It's a perfect contour shade for us Filipinas. And I'm contouring my nose with this imitation Zoeva brush. Yes, it is not original at all. I got this from Shopee. It's a nice brush to blend out your contour or even just to use it as your concealer brush because it gives a soft buffed out effect. And now for my blush, I'm using Sunny's Face Fluff Matte in the shade Vacay. I'm being very generous with my blush just because I'm going for a creative look. And now to set my face, I am using Skin Potions Glow Dust. This is in the shade Sizzle. And now to contour my face, I am using EB Advances Base Trio in the variant Fig Trio. I'm contouring my cheekbone area and I'm also contouring my eye area to the temple area. This will give our face a subtle lifted effect. And to contour my nose, I'm using a big tapered brush. And I'm gently applying the contour on my nose just because I don't want it to look harsh. And now for my lids, I'm using this highlighter trio from Blythe Cosmetics. I'm using the Icy Iridescent shade. First, I applied with my finger just to pack on the pigment. And then I'm using another big fluffy or tapered brush to blend out the edges. I also used a flat brush to apply the iridescent highlighter on my lower lid area. And now to feather out my brows, I'm using this lash adhesive from Landmark and I'm applying it on my spoolie. The reason why I'm using a lash adhesive to feather out my brows is because I find this way more effective to feather out my brows and more long lasting. And now for my eyeliner, I'm using EB Advances Eye Define. This is their brown eyeliner and I'm tight lining my eyes with it just on the outer area of my eye. And I'm also tight lining and applying eyeliner on the inner corner of my eyes as well. If you can notice, I'm not lining the middle part of my eye. That's because I want my eyes to look catty. Lining the middle part of my eye will make my eyes brown. So I'm avoiding that as much as possible for this look. This liner pencil from EB Advance has a smudging tool that you can use to smudge out or smoke out your eyeliner. So I'm using it to soften out my liner. And for my lashes, I'm curling it with my Bokta Lash Curler. And for my mascara, I am using L'Oreal's Voluminous Lash Paradise. And now to add some freckles, I'm using NYX Cosmetics Brow Felt Tip Liner. So this is in the shade medium. I'm focusing the freckles on the middle part of my face, having the cluster of freckles focused on the nose area. 
And now it's time to apply the flowers. So the adhesive that I'm using is from Graftobion. So this is what special effects artists usually use. This adhesive is called Crozeg. So you can buy this at Pure Beauty and Glorietta. Actually, since I'm just applying small petals on my face, you can actually use a lash adhesive for this. But since I don't have lash adhesive anymore, I had to use a prosade for this look. So I'm using a Q-tip to grab the prosade and I'm applying the adhesive where I want to place my petals. And the prosade has to be a little bit dry before you apply whatever you want to apply. So for this look, I'm clustering the petals on the inner corner of my eyes and on the outer corner of my eyes. So right now, I'm checking my look through my phone and I felt like there was something lacking. That's why I grabbed this face paint that I got from National Bookstore. So I'm painting small dots on my face so that it will balance out the color of the petals. And for my lips, I'm using the eyeliner from EB Advance. And I'm contouring my lips to make it a little bit bigger. So you can absolutely use your eyeliners, especially your brown eyeliners, as your lip liner as well. Now to color my lips, I'm using Sunny's Face Fluff Matte in the shade Bake. And I'm using a small eye makeup brush to blend out the edges of my lips so that the line on the edges of my lips blends well with the inner color. So that's it for this floral Coachella inspired makeup look. I hope you guys like it and I hope you check out the products that I featured for this tutorial. If you have any more video requests, just comment them down in the comment section below. And if you like this video, then please do give it a thumbs up. Support my channel by subscribing to it. Again, if you have any more comments or video suggestions, then please do enter them down in the comment section below. Just remember, no hate, just love.